Omar Barada, um, it, it's kind of fitting it's in the transfer market, I guess, yeah. because it, it is big news, isn't it? What, what was your reaction? Did you hear murmurs it was coming? Did it take you by surprise? And how good a move is it by Sir Jim Radcliffe? I heard, I heard about it a little bit before. Um, but I think, look, I mean, it's a big job to be CEO of Manchester United and you think of all the things that he's got to go at. But I think there's also some pretty easy wins um, straight away. The communication, I think having that voice that the club have sort of not had in the last 10 years, I think is really important. And he can form part of a new management structure that can build trust with the fans and can build trust in sort of the, us and everybody that's watching the club. Um, they've not had someone who I think has operated in football, obviously, for a long time. And I think that's really important. But, you know, it's a big task and obviously all eyes are going to, going to be on him. Um, he's obviously had a, a, a brilliant grounding, an amazing grounding at, at Manchester City and Barcelona, two of the most successful clubs in the last 15 years. So I think that, um, look, it looks like Manchester United are making more sound decisions and are on the right track. And I think that can only be a positive. Jim Ratcliffe was not going to come in and not disrupt things. And obviously the disruption started pretty quickly and it, you know it was obvious they haven't got a CEO at the moment because Richard Arnold obviously stepped down they haven't got a sporting director and they haven't got a notable head of recruitment those are three roles whereby most owners are most exposed with the money that comes in uh, the money that obviously gets spent on players the, the revenues that get driven obviously by CEOs good CEOs he's got a commercial mind so yeah it's part of I would imagine a, a triangle of appointments that I would expect to see in the next few months yeah.